What's up guys, it's me boy KWS and we are back again with another video and before we begin I'd like to apologize. The upload schedule has not been great. It's not been fantastic. I'm gonna have to keep it real with you guys. I've been slacking on that and I will do my best to fix it um, but I cannot promise anything because over the next month or two or whatever I'm all over the place. I'm traveling a lot. There's a lot of tournaments going on. Um, so yeah, the first thing I have to do in this video is apologize and the second thing I have to do to you guys in this video is announce that I, Kenneth William Whizzle, I am going to become a millionaire. That is what I have to announce to you guys right now. Well, not exactly. Let me explain. I don't know if you guys are aware, but the Gamers 8 Invitational Tournament happening in Saudi Arabia next week. I am going to be one of the participants in that tournament. If you are unaware, what is the Gamers 8 Tournament happening next week in Saudi Arabia? It is a tournament happening in Saudi Arabia, the Gamers 8 is a festival that happens, uh, starts next week and runs into, I think, the start of August. Like, it's like month long uh, games happening, you know, game dev stuff. There's concerts, there's a festival. There's a bunch of esports tournaments as well. You've got Fortnite, uh, Tekken, PUBG, Rainbow Six, and there's CSGO, Dota. Yeah, but the only thing we are focused on is Tekken 7, and Tekken 7 will be appearing at the festival next week with 16 national teams yes that's right it's going to be a team tournament 16 teams comprised of three players each and they are obviously some of the best players that are going to be available to you guys to be watching some amazing Tekken action and i'm here to just announce to you guys that i'll be taking part and not only will i be taking part i'm also the captain of team uk i'm also in the wrong position right now give me a second boom bam there we go uh, I will be the captain of Team UK and these, these are going to be the captains of all the teams moving forward. You have Yagami from Australia, Noel from Bolivia, Super Kuma from France, Tetsu from Germany, Skywalk from Ivory Coast, Nobi from Japan, Amara Kosh from Jordan, Ni from South Korea, Arsenal from Pakistan, AK from the Philippines, Raif from Saudi Arabia, Callum Bukes from South Africa, Shinakuma from Thailand, k from the UK, Jerry Free from America and Sergi Master from Peru. These are going to be the 16 captains leading their team to victory. Uh, well, we are hoping to lead our team to victory and a lot of money. As a million dollars is a lot of money in case you are unaware. I don't know what your concept of money is like, whoever you are watching this video, but a million is a lot. That's a lot of money. And obviously, if you want to win that money, you've got to put your best foot forward. You've got to bring your best players to the table. And luckily, we have been provided with some of the best players. You take a look at every single team that is there. The Australian team is there. The Bolivian team. I'm not going to say every single player. Actually, I'm just going to run through the teams. Fuck it. You have Australia with Yagami, Bobby, Six, Wheat Bix. You have Bolivia with No, Dark, Yorlin, Tojo, Two, France, Super Huma, Jod and Guni, Tetsu, Sefi Black and HK for Germany, Skywalker, Akon and Shaolin for Ivory Coast, Nobi, Chikrin and Al from Japan, Amara Kosh, M7 Gafir and Mohamed Mishima from Jordan, Ni, Chanel and Ulsan from Korea, Arsenash, Atifa and Khan from Pakistan, AK, Dojin and Jules from the Philippines, Raya, Fedra and the Sam brother Mohamed Al Jabri, uh, I know him as Sam brother, from Saudi Arabia, Callum Butte, Spaghetti and Ghost from South Africa, Shinakuma, Book and Pat Loaz from Thailand, Kawis, Joker and Gosain from the UK, Joe Fury, Anakin and Joe Crush from the USA, and Sergi Master, Abu De Maestro and Barbo Dalada from Peru. Those are all the teams. And I'll get into how I feel about certain teams moving forward, who's the most dangerous, etc., who's wants to not be slept on. But I do feel like this is a huge competition. I think the players that are going to be gathering next week, like within that, within that festival um, in Saudi Arabia, is going to be insane. I think just that, that level of competition that's going to be there. 3v3. Uh, I think a lot of teams have their best foot forward. I think that J Japan team is probably one of the best teams uh, that can be put forward right now. I think um, out of all of them, obviously the Korea team is scary. Obviously the Pakistan team is scary. You know, you have two EVO top two finishes and a Tekken World Tour, uh, a Tekken World Tour winner in one team. Um, I think the team that is probably going to be slept on the most, I think is going to cause the most upsets, is that Ivory Coast team. I think this is a very scary team. Skywalker, Shaolin, and if you don't know Akon, this is the guy who went to EVO, uh, I think it was 2018, 2017, and beat Jimmy J. Tran uh, with, um, he plays late. It must have been 2018 because he, he uses late. So 2018, 
did that you know scary guy down there i think that is a very that's that's a that's a terrifying team i think if you're aware of those two players um so yeah all of these teams all scary obviously philippines ak and dojin and jewels these guys need no introduction they've all done a madness over the years that's very scary usa team jack joey three anakin and joe crush obviously joe crush is the east and joe three has the marduk but that is i'm calling that team jack don't care what anyone says but obviously i think the best team going into obviously team uk i think k wish the joker and gosain that is just a trio that is primed for victory i don't see any team better than that team right there and i'm looking forward to seeing what they are able to do next week in saudi arabia but honestly definitely i think the team that i have been provided with i'm very happy with i'm very happy with these players i think joker and gosain joker is one of the best players in the world right now and gosain has been mr consistent uh that guy knows exactly what to do um and i think we are all players that when the lights are on uh when we're on that big stage we have proven that we don't let that phase us so i'm excited to see what we're able to do next week and we will definitely be looking for a top eight placement because this is what the payout will look like for making a top eight placement obviously 16 teams there'll be eight teams that do not that walk away with zero zero dollars but there are eight teams that will walk away with a nice chunk of change even finishing seven to eight you walk away with twenty thousand dollars that is what uh around six point six thousand uh for each player that's a lot of money you know that's nothing to scoff at it's still a lot of money especially in, in this fgc or poverty etc that's a lot of money to walk away with fifth to sixth walk away with forty thousand fourth walks away with eighty thousand third walks away with walks away with a hundred thousand second walks away two hundred thousand and first walks away with five hundred thousand dollars about 160k between each team member the only thing that annoys me is they didn't do the numbers that in a way that it's like divisible by three because obviously there's three teams uh sorry there's three players in each team so it's like it's going to be awkward divisions um but either way it's just what 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 an event uh for the people because i think stuff like like i think every single player that comes to this event will be coming with their absolute best i think I mean, this is going to mean a lot to a lot of people. This, this is this is life changing money, especially that first place. That's 150k plus, you know, for each person walking away. That's a lot of money. I, I don't know. If that's retirement from the tech community forever money, but that is still a lot of money. I know a lot of people will be vying for it. A lot of people will be gunning for it. I know me, myself, and my team have been working very hard over the past month or so. We've known we've been we're going to be a part of this, and we're just ready to put in the work. We're ready to go out there, ready to do our best. And you know these. Because the thing is, these are not, I don't think any single team here is to be underestimated. You know, you might look at someone like Australia, like, I don't know any of these guys. You know, Yagami was at the Tekken World Tour Finals last year, even though he didn't have the best performance. He still managed to, to play against these players like Chanel, like Joker, like AK, and give all of them a run for their money. And he's definitely not someone to, to watch out. Someone, he definitely is someone to watch out for. And he himself says he is not even the best player in the region. A lot of people say Bobby is the best player in australia right now so the fact that there, he says there's someone even better than him in the region ready to go and play you know it's definitely scary someone to watch out for i think a lot of those those regions as well will be looking for a chance to uh, i think prove themselves because some of these regions like south africa like ivory coast like jordan we don't get to see them very often and they don't really get a chance to shine on the main stage so they'll be looking to take this opportunity they'll be taking the ball by the horns and do whatever they can to make a statement and obviously for the for the regions we're expecting to do all your germany's uh usa uk philippines korea japan pakistan this is just another chance to you know because region rivalry is hot right now pakistan versus korea is heating up you know arsenash might by the end of tekken 7 might establish himself as the tekken 7 go but korea for a long time we've been saying is potentially the best tekken region japan has always felt slept on and then they came out and won tekken world tour with Chikorin in 2019. Japan versus Korea is always very interesting when they do their team battles. We've yet to have a Pakistan versus Korea team battle, by the way. Um, but we've had all of these and all of these different events, everything's leading up to it. And this is probably the moment where everything bubbles up. You know, there's a million dollars on the line. Everyone is gonna come with their absolute best. And I think as a spectator, I think you guys are going to definitely enjoy this. When I find out the details of where it's gonna stream, etc., I'll let you guys know as soon as I possibly can. <laughs> um but yeah as a spectator i'm sure you guys will have uh will be seeing the best tekken you possibly can be seeing maybe all year as a competitor it will be the most nerve-wracking thing a lot of us will have done 
um me personally obviously i'm nervous it happens to everyone but it's how you deal with those nerves i'm used to this i've played a lot of these players before i've been a lot of these players before i'm excited going into it i feel like i'm in very good form right now um my train has been paying off and I'm, I'm just looking forward to seeing how everything pans out obviously that first place looks amazing that second place third even fourth place looks amazing um but i think for my team right now from the way we've been speaking to you the way we've been dealing with it i think for us even though the money is there this win is a big statement right now because if you're paying attention to europe right now uk versus germany is quite a big thing going on people saying germany's the best region people saying uk are the best region ahk went and went, went and won one head stomper me and joker qualified for tech more tour finals uh sefi's been doing this thing internationally like it's there's a lot of push and pull right now this could be the definitive statement when it comes to uk versus germany so there's a lot there's a lot of narratives going into this right now also france may be feeling underlooked because everyone's saying uk versus germany this could be a chance for them to make it like there's a lot of narratives going on a lot of spinning you know if you if you don't pay attention to all the threads you might get lost uh but thank you guys for watching this video this will be happening next week the tournament is july the 6th to the 9th there's four days of tournament um i think two days will be both group stages can i think there's there should be there should be four groups i believe it's going to be four groups of four teams and yeah whatever happens happens everyone's going to go into it uh with the absolute best i'm excited to compete I'm excited for you guys to watch thank you guys for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one.